you have to do only what you think is right you don't want to do all right i will always support you thank you so much mama thank you so much i don't mind this one look at you think it's easy to find this package yeah mama let me go upstairs and change it to something more comfortable take care of yourself my darling thank you where was I going to? Mama? Samu? What was the meaning of what you did earlier today? Mama, you insulted me. You made me look like a child in presence of that girl. Why did you do that? That wasn't part of the plan. I thought we were on the same page. Simon, no matter how stupid a person is, there's a limit to what the person can take. There's a limit you push that person to the person will be forced to react. What do you mean by that? I saw that she was already revolting. Do you understand? We don't have to be in a haste to control this girl. Do you understand? We need this girl. We need her to get married to your brother. I don't want us to do it to the point that you just damn the consequences and walk out of this marriage. So allow her to get married, then we we'll twist her arm. Mama, I know we need to twist her arm, but we must not lose ourselves trying to do that. Look at the kind of insult you gave me earlier today. It was just God that made me control myself. See, Mama, all I have to say is this. If she wants to marry our brother, let her go ahead and marry Joel. But if she doesn't want to marry Joel, let her go. I wouldn't want to be receiving insults like this from you all because of a woman. Simon, now I know that you don't have sense. Oh. And that you are stupid at the same time. Okay. So you want us to let a gold mine like that get escape. We want her to go like that. Okay? We need that girl in this family. We need the money she makes. But we don't have to be in a haste. We have to take it little by little. We have to play the game of the trap and rat with her. You understand? You don't set a trap and expect the rat to walk in. You set the trap, then you throw a bait to attract the rat. So let me be the bait. So if you guys are doing mood like this, I will be the one that will, you know, I show her a little bit nice, a little nice, nice part of us. You understand? She will believe that she has my support. Then if she eventually marries your brother, I which you come Abago, she will live the rest of her life regretting ever coming into this family. By the time she's working for us and we're getting her salary, you know what that means? I, mm. eh? I know, but how do you think that will work? That girl is an independent woman. No matter how independent a woman is, sometimes what the society think about her, get to her. And she will want to get married. You understand? So let's feed on her depression and make her marry her brother. See, Mama, I don't care what your plans are. I don't care what you're thinking. I don't even want to know what you're planning. But Mama, please, when you're planning your own, I will be living my life. I will be doing what I want to do. Anytime I want to do it and anyhow I want to do it. Mama, all you have to do is avoid my lane. Do not cross my path. Don't even stop me from doing what I want to do. Please. You see why you will remain a failure all your life? You see why you can never succeed? Because you are always wearing your emotions on your, on your sleeve. Eh? You allow your emotions to control you. You can't pretend a little bit. That is why you are a failure. You don't know you are a failure. Total failure. F9. Yes. Mama, I've told you what I have to tell you. Me, I've told you my own too. Do not insult me like that again. I'm not insulting you. But do you, not do that but, again. Go and learn how to do something. Look, and you are still stagging at this old age. <laughs> Failure. Babe, I don't understand. What's going on? Like, 
Why are you allowing these people push you to this to this extent? Why are you allowing them treat you like this? With all the money you have, like you give them everything. <laughs> Regardless, they maltreat you. They, oh God. <laughs> Joanne, 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 what makes you think I don't understand everything you're saying? I do. But girlfriend, remember that we live in a society whereby as a single young girl, matured young girl like me, if you're not yet married, they will label you. They'll start saying that you're cursed, you're not destined to get married, you're choosy or something is wrong with you. Look it out. I Wait. know what I'm doing. Wait, excuse me. So you want to worry about what people are going to say? Mm -hmm. You want to worry about the society? Babe, this is marriage you are talking about here. Regardless of everything you do for them. Babe, don't forget, you didn't grow up in a joint family. So you getting married to Jewel and join them in their family house? Babe, there is no privacy. I know there is no privacy there, but I'm, I'm actually working on it. And baby girl... I love Jewel so much. Did, did you say love? I love him and I really want to get married Babe, to him. Babe, love is not enough. Lizzie, I said love is not enough. What are we talking about? You are still his girlfriend. You're not even married to them yet. Can you imagine? His stupid and arrogant sister, Clara or whatever her name is, ordering you around. That one that cannot even turn on a gas. Or what am I even talking about? His lazy brother, um, Simon. Hey, God. His brother makes all the money. What Simon does is sit down and enjoy it. Who does that? Babe, do you know that if you get married to this family, they will scrub the ground with you? Ha! <laughs> I beg. Joanne, and you know I'm one person that nobody can ride on, right? I say things when I want them to be said. For now, relax. I am in control of everything. But you see that marriage? I really want to get married to Joel. Yes. I want to get married. I know. <laughs> but you know that when you get married, it's totally a different board game. Like, different board game entirely. My dear, this is the time you have to sit up. Don't let this family maltreat you, treat you the way they like, or doing you. Are. Can you imagine, Joel or whatever you call that your husband to be, who brings his friends home and they start making orders. I want this. I want that. Babe. Who are you to him? His girlfriend, not a slave. If you're free, fine. But if you're not, who are they dishing others to as if they are in a restaurant? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, and you heard what I told you, that I got angry and walked away. I didn't do it. <laughs> you walked away. For them to even think about this, babe, that means you have given them enough room to try this nonsense. <laughs> you have to stand up. You have to set boundaries. Babe, you need to set them straight. Okay? So that when, when next they think about you, they will know that there are boundaries, there are lines they cannot cross with you. Imagine that idiot called uh, uh, Simon asking you to give him your khaki. Hey, God. As what? A mechanic, now? Nah? Or what? I don't understand. Babe, you, you, you form my hand. <laughs> see? See, finish. Don't enter this matter. Uh. You see, that family might see me as a fool, as someone they can walk over hmm. on, and they might not want me to get married to their son. But I, Lizzie, once I set my mind on doing something, I must get it done. They might want to use me to mop the floor. They should do whatever it is they want to do. But you see, that marriage, <laughs> that marriage has come to stay, and no one is going to stop it. I must get married to Jewel. It's sealed and final you know the year old no no the year old i better drink you know the year old relax yourself you see that marriage it go happen <laughs> don't be lazy i say i go marry joel don't call me i'll get married to joel nobody can stop that i'll get married to him <laughs> that marriage will happen don't say i didn't warn you do not say it because i've been trying all my best to like make sure that you don't get into that marriage <laughs>
Mama, what is it? This one you someone just like this. This is unlikely. What happened? There is no problem. You know, we are a united family. And as a united family, we need to put our plans in motion. I called you all because of this girl called Lizzie. She is beginning to make a lot of noises. And we all know how important that girl is to this family. We need a daughter-in-law who will worship us, who will wash our feet, and yet be humble. We need a daughter-in-law who will make our lives easier by paying some of the bills. You understand? We need a daughter-in-law who is going to lay the golden eggs and yet cleanse the environment. And we have found her. We have her. A daughter-in-law who is afraid of leaving this family. A daughter-in-law who is afraid of being unmarried. We have her. But we need to tame her. We must look for a way to do that. Exactly my point, Mama. We need to tame her. She's doing too much. She's becoming wild. But how do we do that? Eh? Mm. You know, I think I might have a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your plan? I'm a genius. I just, I have it. This is what I'm thinking. What if I fake break up with her? Mm. She will be so scared and beg me. At that point, I have her exactly where I want. And anything I ask of her, she will do. <laughs> In that case, yes. you must be more stupid than I thought. You don't threaten an independent woman. You can't do that. Do you know if there are other men hanging around just waiting for her to be free so that they snatch her away? If you do that, if that is the case, she will run from you and it will be as if you never existed. So, Mama, what do we do now? So, what we are going to do is that we are going to take her out of her comfort zone. We are going to make her to move into this house and stay with us. As if we are still, you know, trying to scale her and know if she befits us. Then we plan the wedding. Then when she finally moves in, we we'll start controlling her. And we we'll work on her psyche. And by then, she will think losing us is not our shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think I get it. I think I have it. We will press her. Mm -hmm. We will press her hard. And then the more we will press her, the more she loses herself. And the more she loses herself, the more we gain power over her. So, first of all, what valid reason are we going to, apart from coming for us to test her, how do we make her move in? How do we convince her? Mama, we request her. Simple. No. Just ask her to move in. No, it doesn't work like that. When you are trying to convince somebody to do something that you know they will not like to do, you don't sound force. Because some people, when you force them, they rebel. You understand? We are going to look for a very nice and convincing way to talk to her, then lure her. You understand? It would be as if we are doing her a favor. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. You know, then when she's convinced, we will now. It's come. It's come. It's come. Yes. <laughs> hey! Obana. Mm -hmm. Then, see, that's her salary. That's her money that is making her swell up. It becomes us. It becomes Bam. ours. Mm hmm? Nice. Then she becomes the hen 
that lays the golden eggs. And yet, the kings of the darkness. Your mother is a genius. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm Yes. I have sense now. Yes. Yeah. I have sense. Not like our senior brother. Shemi Shide Buga. Idiot. Can you imagine? It's okay. It's okay. We have a perfect plan. There's no need to spoil it. Yes. Oh, one more, Jack. 